Adrian Casas, I'm a violinist and conductor from Regina, Canada and we are here today to talk about score studying. So score studying is one of those things that uh, every conductor does it differently. Um, um, some conductors are very methodical about how they do uh, score studying, they, they, they try to find about the literature of the work and they don't do anything else before they move on to the score analysis and the score interpretation later on and they are very methodical uh, about um, the whole process. Some other conductors, like myself included, uh, are uh, kind of back and forth between uh, the different parts of a score study. So uh, every time I find something really cool about the piece that I am working on, uh, some, some really cool literature about the piece that I am working on, and some, some, something that applies to the work that I am, that I am working on, uh, then I write it down on the score and then I get, I get lost in the, in, in, in the music of the score and then I have to go back, and f back, and back to the literature and, and read it and you know, go back and forth between those. Uh, so whatever your, your, your process is, that's fine. Um, I hope that this quick study guide uh, help you out in either case. So the first step about uh, score studying is try to find as much as you can about the composer and the composition that you are working on and uh, try to read as much as you can about the composer and uh, what was going on around the time that the composer was writing the piece that you're working on right so try to see if maybe the composer was going through a difficult time in their life or a happy time in their life uh, try to see if there were on any social events that was uh, that that uh, affected the composer. Um, see if there are any extra musical uh, aspects of the composition that might have inspired the composition. And feel free to write them down in your score. So if something, if you're reading about the composer or about the composition, and and you find something really cool about the composition, then feel free to write it down. On your score, so, so that you can you can remember when you are doing your score analysis, and and hopefully that affects your uh, your point of view or your interpretation of the score. Now, when you're you're finding out about the literature of the composition, make sure that you don't get too stuck on the literature uh, reading, and and the only reason is because you want to get to the music eventually, and and remember that 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 is a never-ending uh, work. Sometimes you will, you will read about uh, music or you will read about the literature and then or about the, the you know, um, the biography or anything and you will, you will find stuff that you were not looking for in other work. So um, don't get too stuck in there and make sure that you move on into the music. The next step of your score study is uh, scheme through the score. So uh, make sure that you don't get too uh, too stuck on the details just yet. Uh, skip skim through the score. So try to uh, read through just just from the beginning to the end of the score. Uh, make sure that perhaps there are some uh, program notes in the score or by the composer or by the editor. And sometimes those program notes tell you a lot about the work more than what you will find in your um, in your in your um, literature studying. So uh, make sure that you you read through the score, and while you're reading through the score, while you're skimming through the score, make sure that you don't go into the details, but but try to find all of those musical terms that you perhaps are not familiar with, uh, foreign languages that you might not know, uh, that might help you you know that might help you. Uh, uh, interpret the score better. Uh, if you have a friend that speaks the language, then then feel free to feel free to uh, approach that friend and make sure that they translate for you. Uh, and try to try to see you know try to see try to find anything unusual that you see in the score. Uh, when you're skimming through the score, also check out the interpretation. The sorry, the instrumentation of uh, of the work. Uh, see if the instrumentation is, is, is a typical instrumentation of the time of the composition or if it is an unusual instrumentation or if there are any instruments in there that, that you might not be familiar with or that, that don't belong to the time and find out why 
uh, if, if that is the case. The next step on your score study is your score analysis. Now, uh, make sure that you, get, you don't get too stuck on the details right from the beginning. And the only reason is because you want to be able to know the score from beginning to end, right? Uh, so some people get really, really stuck on the details of sections and they don't move on to the details of one section before they move, they, they go to the next section. And eventually what you're going to find out is that you will run out of time. So you don't want to run out of time to know the entire score. So my best advice is always go macro to micro to micro. And uh, so, for example, get get very familiar with the beginning and the end of your at the end of your piece, and any transitions in between, any tempo transitions, key transitions, fermatas, uh, tempo changes, anything like that, because that's where your musicians are going to need you the most. Uh, beginning, end, transitions, fermatas. After that, then start to divide your work into sections from bigger sections to smaller sections up until you get to the phrase to phrases and once you get to phrases then that's where you start to get into the details make sure that you observe all your dynamics uh, make sure that you check out the, the harmonies and and who is leading that that phrase or that section right which instrument is on the background with the, the dynamics will probably tell you that uh, which instrument is on the background, which instrument has the cool melody or the cool parts or the cool music and, and, and go back and forth. Make sure you also will probably notice that there are some sections in there, um, some, some musical terms that you might have missed on your skimming uh, section, right? So write them down, try to, f try to find those, those musical terms and, uh, but always go macro to micro to micro right and that will help you get a better idea of the score at that point uh, you're also uh, trying to make an idea in your head of how the music is going to sound or how the music is sounding in your head and the last part of your score study is your interpretation so run it from the beginning to the end as if you were conducting it in front of the ensemble or in, from, uh, or in front of an audience and try to bring out your own musical ideas based on the analysis that you already did, based on all the study that you already did. Now, at that point, you will probably realize that you, have, you might have missed something or perhaps you were not as familiar with some sections than others. And that is okay. Uh, you can always go back to step one, step two, step three, step four. Uh, you can always go back and forth, um, and and you will find you will find that some sections are more challenging than others, and that's where you have to go back and forth between uh, your score analysis steps, and that is okay. Remember that this is always a never-ending work. Uh, sometimes. You will, you will think that you, will, you know everything about the work and then you take it all or you will review, revisit it later in life and then you realize that, that you could probably have done better or you probably miss some details and that is okay. That is okay. Um, it's a never ending work and you can always learn more and more and more. Um, so be proud of what you do and, but be always open to learning more. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in um, score studying in more details, keep an eye on my uh, conducting lessons coming up soon. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe.